Hello, Caroline from Bubbly Mass. We tonight, it's all about curves. It's curves, up curves, down curves, and otherwise known as quadratics and parabolas and throwing balls and playing golf and playing football and going on roller coasters and even having water sports shooting a water a water gun so welcome and this is the preparation for tomorrow morning when we do our live at nine o'clock for nine uh, seven to 18 year olds and then later on at 10 nine London time for seven to 18 year olds and 10 o'clock for early years and there isn't really too much to prepare tonight You've got to bring your brain, that would be helpful. And bring, let's see, what else should you bring? Well, pen and paper would be good. And if you've got any pictures, anything in the home, if, you, if you've got any toy cars, things that you can throw, so they'll go up and down, juggling, ha ha, juggling. Let me make a note. Might just do some juggling in the morning. I'll, uh, impress you with my prowess. I can actually throw one, two, three and catch. That's it. Took me a year to get to the point where I could do that. So let's see, juggling, making notes for myself, balls in general, anything that can make a parabola and make curves. And if you've got cars and things that say that can go up and down curves, if you've got any track that goes up and down, maybe railway track, anything like that that goes up to a bridge and down a bridge and curves around. Those are the sorts of thing you want, things that you want to bring you with you. It's all about bringing the maths to life, making it real. So it's about quadratics. The very serious theme is quadratics, but actually quadratics are way cool. And we might even sing a song tomorrow about quadratics. We might even do that. So bring your good humor, bring your brain. You will definitely need to bring your brain, but bring an open mind, open your brain and open your mind because there's lots of fun things we're going to do. As I say, we've even got things for early years learners to do. Anybody into cricket? What about shooting cannons? Oh my goodness, that sounds like warfare. Now, wait a minute. Yes, it is used or was used back in the day in warfare. What about shooting arrows? Do you think if you shoot an arrow in the air, what, wait a minute, I let go of both hands. There's something wrong there. I think maybe you're supposed to let go of that hand and hold on with that. <laughs> Otherwise your bow is just gonna go completely. And um, skate parks. What happens when you go up on a skateboard or you go off on a skateboard and then you come down again? All of that. Uh, what happens if you come down on a slide and you go whoop and you land on the floor? Have you ever done that? And um, just generally curves. So there's just, it really, it's not much to prepare for tomorrow. It is, it will be super helpful if you can download the, um, the activity and that is, just above, I have remembered to do it, yes. And um, just download that and then choose the activity that's relevant to your learners. So we, that in that activity, there's everything from early years to through to, I haven't actually checked on year 12 activities, but there's usually, usually something all the way through, yes, all the way through to 18 year olds. And it might be helpful for you to review it as well. It's, um, I'm just double checking and seeing if there's anything I have. That there's some, yeah, you, you will need to get back out pen and paper, maybe not during the session tomorrow, but after the session tomorrow. And it's, it, it takes you through it in a very beautiful way, just like everything that AIM Second Aiming High does. But you can, basically the activities are low threshold, high ceiling. So you can start at the point of 
looking at roller coasters, looking at slides on, on a children's playground and just take it to where, wherever you're comfortable and then stretch it just a little bit. That is the point of learning. That stretch is the point of learning. But it's important that it's not a stretch that makes someone unhappy. Stretch while the happiness is still there and, and then let it go and then come back to it another time and then let it go and then come back to it again and let it go. And each time you come back to it, you can stretch just a little bit and grow that a little bit more. And that is pretty much it. Imagine roller coasters, imagine, I've got all that, those things in here, golf, cricket, cannonballs, we've got um, slides, skate parts, they're not all, and this is to, to introduce the idea of the curves to young learners where something can go curve around a track. So yes, please bring your train tracks, bring your trains, bring anything that moves around on and curves around and bring your imaginations because we'll be telling a couple of stories and definitely doing the quadratic song. If I can get my head around it, I'll certainly um, find it for you and give you a link to it. So the quadratic song, I wrote, started writing it and didn't finish writing it. That wasn't very helpful of me. That's it. So if you are enjoying our lives, then please do share them and please do write a post in your on your Facebook and tell others about the group. That would be fantastic, making maths fun for kids of all ages. We've also got the, the um, YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you can, um, if you'd like to subscribe to our Maths Toys YouTube channel where we have every resource. The objective is that every resource on the Aiming High website will have a video to go with it. And also on the Bubbly Maths YouTube channel, we've we've got um, the lives go up there, and also we've got a lot of activities, maths fun activities with balloons and soap bubbles and paper folding and and other activities to um, to make maths fun. And we're starting to put up um, videos, useful videos, we hope, regarding maths anxiety and generally the problem that has become even more critical during the lockdown period and that is when there's a child in the home or more than one person in the home who has a real problem with maths and and it caused us a lot of distress for the whole family so we're looking to really everything we do here is aiming to provide harmony is to give you ways of facilitating the learning of mathematics in a harmonious way so that we if someone is experiencing maths anxiety, we want to take that away, get them to come in for, at the low threshold to a point where they're still enjoying it and then just bring it up whilst remaining at peace without getting uptight. And part of that is mindset. Part of that is the attitude towards maths. Well, a huge part of it. So it's all about how you approach it rather than thinking I can do it, I can't do it. It's not about whether you can do it or you can't do it. It's how you handle failure, it's huge. One has to be able to take, treat mistakes as learnings. It's the only way you can do it in maths. And in fact, the, the, the really advanced mathematicians, the ones who are professional mathematicians that spend their whole lives investigating maths are only interested and really interested in problems they don't know the answers to in problems they really, really struggle to find the answers to. So they're not making mistakes. They're not doing things wrong. They are being curious, they're investigating. And whatever level you're at, you are being that mathematician. You are being the mathematician that's curious about the things they don't know, that's curious about the things they don't know how to do. That's you, that's you. You are just as good as the most advanced mathematician in the world, as long as you stay interested and stay learning and learn from and, and being in, be enthusiastic about growth and learning. So let's have a look, see if anyone has joined us. Let me see what we've got. We've got Henrik Robinson, hello, Andy Davis, hello, Terry, Simon, hello, thanks for joining. Oh. <laughs> 
Terry says he can't bring his train on. Oh, Terry, he's got some choo-choo trains and proper chuff, 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 choo-choo trains. He's got one specifically in, um, in China, and that's the Ch China Prince's Risborough Railway. So if you ever get over that way, they do Sunday lunches on the train. They do all kinds of murder mysteries, obviously not at the moment, but if you're there, this is after COVID. If you're seeing this, then do make your way down to the China Princess and Risborough Railway because it, they've got some lovely things, including Terry's train. And um, actually, I'm not sure if Terry's train might be a diesel, might be a diesel. Oh, oh my goodness. Henrik's given us a formula. That's very exciting. Thank you for giving us that, Henry. I'll have to look at that afterwards. Melissa, Christine McGough, my English teacher. Hope I'm doing her proud. And, and Terry again. Thank you so much for joining us. I can't see the comments on the Facebook group. I will look at those afterwards and I'll see you in the morning. That's nine o'clock for early, uh, for seven to 18 year olds. And it's all about the curve. 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 About the curve. <laughs> That's what we'll be doing in the morning. And I'll see you um, and then 10 o'clock for early years. And with that, we do want, come on, Terry, we need that train. Got to bring it. Just got to do it. It's got to be done. So I'll see you tomorrow and then eight o'clock tomorrow night again, of course, um, with preparation for the following day, which will involve paper sticks. So I shall be making paper sticks tomorrow. And so if you want to be preparing for tomorrow night during the day, paper sticks, that's our, our task. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.